Grid scale batteries in the NEM earned an average of 148,000 Australian dollars per megawatt in 2024. 45% higher than in 2023. So what was behind this increase? This chart shows average battery earnings per year since 2020, split between energy trading and frequency response, known as FCAS. FCAS revenues have been steadily decreasing over the period as more batteries entered the market. However, energy trading revenues more than doubled in 2024 which helped grid-scale battery revenues recover from a historical low in 2023. The increase in value from energy markets was due to a 70% increase in the price spreads captured by batteries between 2023 and 2024. This was due to an increase in the number of extremely high price periods. In 2024, batteries across the NEM earned most of their revenues from a small number of days with very high prices. This chart shows average revenue earned on every day in 2024. 50% of all battery revenues in the year were made across just 32 days. In fact, batteries made 11% of their revenue in 2024 from just one day, the 5th of August. On that day, annualized revenues were almost $6 million per megawatt. This was driven by energy prices increasing to over $15,000 per megawatt hour in multiple regions of the NEM. Let's zoom in on the highest value days in 2024. In two of the top five days, FCAS was the main driver of earnings due to extremely high prices in contingency markets. On the 11th of October, 97% of revenues came from race contingency services. Importantly, this all came from high prices in Queensland. Because price volatility in both energy and FCAS markets varies by state, battery earnings vary significantly. Here, we can see revenues for batteries that operated in the NEM for the full year of 2024. The highest earning was Bouldercombe in Queensland, which earned over double the index average. For more analysis on battery earnings in the NEM, head to our article on the terminal. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.